In this video, we will see about the object caching. As we already know that caching is required to speed up the performance of the ASP.NET application, here we will see how can we retrieve a single information from the cache and how to store any data in the cache. So here in object cache, basically it will give you more flexibility in order to speed up the performance. Whatever data, whether it's a data set or any kind of information which you want to retrieve very frequently, you can simply store that in the cache object and then you can start using it whenever we want. So in this coming implementation, we'll see how to start working with the object caching. So in this very simple implementation of data caching or object caching, here what I have done First of all, I have taken a data set in which I have populated the records from the SQL table tbill employees and then I have assigned that data set in the view state so that in the first page load the data set will be loaded and it will be populated in view state and in the further request we will use the same data set from the view state. We don't have to make the queries from the database again and again. Now, as we know that view state will only be accessible in the current page only. So if I want to access this view state in another page for that, I will go for this cache data. This is nothing but the object caching. So the way to define it is very same as we were doing it with the view state. So here we just put the data from view state and I have assigned that in the caching so that when I'll go to the next page by clicking this button from the designer mode called redirect, I'll go to another page called default.aspx. And as soon as we'll do that, this view state will no longer be accessible there. For that, I will take this cached variable and we'll use this one for accessing the same data set in the another page called default.aspx. Now, when we will come in the default.aspx here you can see there is a grid view which will be populated with that particular data when I click on this button. So let's see what is there in the code. So now in the page load of default.aspx as soon as we will come here and the first page load will again put the data from this cache to the view state so that we will not trust cache to a law for a longer time for frequent data access from index.aspx and default.aspx we have already make a use of this cache but but the data from this cache will be transferred to the view state so that view state will be here as soon as you are staying in this current page so here i have copied that and even after that the data may retain in the cache variable so if you will execute this page directly from the next time Probably you will get the data from the cache, but indeed in that particular request, I have not populated any data into it. So for that, I have just removed if there is any data remaining even after the termination of this application, I'll remove that particular explicitly. And then I can later use this view state in this default.aspx as long as I want to stay here in this particular page. So let's start this execution from index.aspx from where I'm just populating the data set in the view state and then in the cache. So here from the browser, I'll click on this redirect button. And here now I'm in the default.aspx. So as, long, as soon as I'll click on this load data, I'll get all the data from the database in this grid view. So this is how you can implement using cache or object caching where you can store the data which is very frequently used by the client as here this data set is very frequently used by this index.aspx and then for this default.aspx.